Former India men's cricket captain Saurav Ganguly suffered a heart attack at age 48. He was running on a treadmill and collapsed. Bollywood and Marathi film industry actor Shreya Talpade was 47 when he suffered a heart attack after a film shoot. Gujarat reported 10 deaths during Garba dances in October 2023 during the festival period. The youngest death was of a 17-year-old. Over 500 calls were made in 24 hours for heart attacks and cardiac issues. We can go on and on and on. India is becoming the capital of cardiac diseases and heart attacks. India records a cardiovascular death rate of 272 per 100,000. The global average is 235 per 100,000. People born after 1970 are more likely to suffer cardiac deaths. Unlike the West, obesity is not the leading cause of cardiac deaths in India. Ignorance and exercise. So why are people dying? One key reason is ignorance. People assume that cardiac arrests and heart attacks occur suddenly, but they don't. They are a result of years of build-up and lack of effort by Indians to undergo regular health checkups. Take Ganguly for instance. As per reports, he was feeling uneasy and unwell on Friday night. He still decided to work out on Saturday and suffered a heart attack. Ganguly was diagnosed with three blocked coronary arteries, after which a stent was inserted in one to remove the blockage. He suffered myocardial infarction MI. Ganguly has a family history of ischemic heart disease, a condition of recurring chest pain or discomfort that occurs when a part of the heart does not receive enough blood. Ganguly was feeling uncomfortable on Friday, but he chose to ignore it. If a former sportsman like Ganguly can ignore this, imagine the number of regular Indians ignoring this. Patients keep ignoring this uncomfortable feeling and then it's too late. CVD or cardiovascular disease occurs because of a lack of blood flow in the heart muscles. Dr. Ashish Contractor, Director, Rehabilitation and Sports Medicine at Mumbai's Sir H. N. Reliance Foundation Hospital told TOI Plus that coronary heart disease, where there are blockages in the heart arteries, is the most common cause for sudden deaths in those over 35 years of age. These blockages take years to build up. If people don't get regular checkups, they are at risk. Initial signs include chest heaviness, discomfort, and unusual shortness of breath and tiredness. This should not be confused with the usual feeling you get during exercise. These warning signs show up days and sometimes weeks before the actual attack. This is also a reason that most young people die during exercise. When you exercise, the heart rate goes up and so does the cardiac output. Your system is set to deliver more blood to your heart, but it can't because of the blockages. This also explains why so many heart attacks and cardiac arrests were recorded in Gujarat during Dandia and Garba. Apart from this, there is a problem of lack of medical facilities. AIIMS and ICMR conducted a study in 2023 that showed over 55% of cardiac deaths in India occurred due to a delay in getting medical help. Only 10.8% of cardiac or stroke patients reach an appropriate health facility within the golden hour or first hour. In medical terms, golden hour is the first one hour which is critical for medical intervention to save patients in emergency cases like cardiac arrests, strokes, heart attacks and serious accidents. The research showed that interventions during this hour reduce the risk of mortality by 30%. An article by ET Prime said that out of 806 districts in India, less than 300 may have access to territory or secondary emergency facilities. That leaves a yawning deficit of at least 600 million population at the mercy of ill-equipped government facilities or unscrupulous profiteering private hospitals. An even more alarming statistic is that cardiac deaths in rural India have surpassed urban India. The AIIMS researchers said that patients staying close to a health facility were more likely to reach there on time and get treated. If there is a health facility nearby, patients are more likely to go for a checkup when they are uncomfortable. If there isn't, people ignore it and die. This means that the most vulnerable part of the population doesn't have access to health facilities when it needs it the most. Another point of worry from the ET article is that doctors don't want to work in these areas because of a lack of facilities. Cardiovascular disease or CVDs account for 36% of deaths in India. What should you do? Get checked for silent killers regularly. What are these? 
cholesterol, blood pressure and sugar. You can also go in for CT coronary angiography, especially if you have a family history of heart disease or are under too much stress. Coronary disease in India is twice the rate of the West, especially among younger people. In a Mint article, Dr. Ashok Seth, head of cardiology, Fortis Escorts Hospital, New Delhi said, the problem of non-detection of heart-related ailments is a very serious issue. One in four people, even when they have 70% or more blockages, don't show any symptoms or report only certain vague ones like fatigue. He says everyone above the age of 35 should undergo an annual cardiac checkup as Indians are genetically predisposed to develop coronary artery disease early in their lives. Apart from this, you need to follow the usual protocols. Stop smoking, don't drink heavily, exercise more, have a balanced diet, no junk food, reduce stress and most importantly, sleep at least 7 hours a day.